Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. I'm Steve. A few days ago, we released a tutorial on using blend modes and masks in Final Cut Pro. And judging by your comments, Mark did an amazing job of showing you what's possible using blend modes in Final Cut. So as a direct response to your feedback, two things came from this. Number one, Final Cut Pro should have a means of previewing blend modes before applying them to clips, but it doesn't. And two, we created a plugin for you that will do exactly that. And best part, it's completely free. Let me show you how it works. Here are some clips of varying subject matter strung out in the timeline. With the play it over the first clip, I'll press X to mark the clip. After you've installed the plugin, go to the titles and generator sidebar and locate RT blend modes. Select the plugin and press Q to connect it above the clip. With your playhead over the clip, you'll see a 4x4 grid of preview thumbnails in the viewer that displays the most commonly used blend modes. Pressing the spacebar will preview them in real time. We've also added text descriptors that identify each blend mode. In some cases, you might have difficulty reading the text due to the fact that some thumbnails will be brighter and some darker depending on the images being composited. To make the text stand out, you can adjust the color with this control. There are two ways to use this plugin. In the inspector, there's an option labeled What to Blend. From this pop-up, you can choose to blend the clip with itself, or you can blend the clip with a drop zone. We'll get to the drop zone option in a moment. I'll choose Clip with Itself. So what does that mean? Well, those of you who are familiar with compositing techniques will often copy a clip above itself, then apply the blend mode to the copied clip. With this option, we've saved you that step. What you're looking at in the grid is the clip composited above itself with 16 different blend modes applied. All you need to do is pick the one you like best. I really like the look of this multiply blend mode. To apply it, I'll locate the menu next to Blend Mode with Clip, then choose Multiply from the list. In order to see my applied blend mode, I'll locate the What to View pop-up menu. Currently, it's set for Blend Mode Samples, in other words, the preview grid. I'll change it to Your Blend Mode, and now we can see my applied blend mode in the viewer. If the resulting image is too strong, you can modulate it by using the Mix Slider. I'll press V to toggle the blend mode on and off. I'm a huge fan of the Multiply Blend Mode, particularly with my underwater footage, as it gives the images a dense filmic look. Because the plugin was published as a title, I can quickly apply it to sequential clips by dragging it over them, just like an adjustment layer. Here's a before and after for each clip. Now let's play back these clips in real time. Before I go any further, I'll return to the main library. Moving on to the next clip in the timeline, I've already connected the plugin above the clip, and we can see the resulting blend mode grid for the clip itself in the viewer. For this clip, I'm going to composite it with another clip using the drop zone. I'll click into the drop zone well, then skim over this shot of giraffes in the browser. Click to set the endpoint, then click Apply Clip. In order to see the drop zone composites, choose Clip with Drop Zones from the What to Blend pop-up menu. The sample grid now displays thumbnails of both clips with the applied blend modes. I'll play those back. For these images, I prefer the blend modes that lighten the image, Add, Lighten, and Screen. I'll go with Lighten by choosing this mode from the Blend Mode with Drop Zone pop-up menu. Then from the What to View menu, choose Your Blend Mode. Color grading the base clip can have a significant effect on the final composite. I'll select the Balloon Girl clip, Press Command-6 to open the color board, then reduce the global exposure to give the image more punch. Then add a bit more saturation to bring in more of the purple tones. Looking at this, I'm feeling like the giraffes are taking away too much focus from the girl, who's the main subject. I'll back off the mix to 35%, which will give the image a much more subjective feel, perhaps invoking a childhood memory or a dream. A great use of blend modes is for creating stylized looks. In this next shot, I've used the drop zone to composite some stock footage of fire. 
Here, I've applied a hard mix blend mode with a mix value of 50% to achieve the current look. The further I drag the mix slider to the right, the more stylized the image becomes, and it begins to take on the feel of a graphic novel. By the way, I'm running Final Cut Pro on an 8-core iMac Pro with 32 gigabytes of RAM, and in most cases, I still need to render to play the effect in real time. If there's anyone using an M1 Mac out there, please let me know in the comments if you get real-time playback. Often, blend modes are used with titles. So the question before us is, will your plugin work with titles? Well, no, and yes. Let me show you what I mean. Moving my playhead over this shot of the pond ripple, I would like to blend a title with this image. Final Cut Pro will not allow you to select a built-in title to add to the drop zone directly, but you can composite the title if it resides inside a compound clip. Here I've created a compound clip and added a title with the formatting I want. I'll click into the drop zone well, then select the compound clip, then apply it. In the What to Blend menu, I'll choose Clip with Drop Zone to see the various permutations of the effect. I like Linear Burn, so I'll choose that option from the Blend Mode with Drop Zone menu. Then set the What to View menu to Your Blend Mode. I'll play that back. For this last clip, I composited a stock footage clip of some floating particles against this clip of a Roman centurion. I've set the blend mode to multiply and the mix amount to 60. At any point during editing I want to see my other blend mode options, I'll set the What to View menu back to Blend Mode Samples. So what do you think? Mark and I are always interested in your feedback. You'll find the link to the installer in the info section below. If you do use the plugin, just know that it's free of charge. There's no licensing or anything like that. Just use it however you see fit. If you find it useful, my only request is that you subscribe to this channel, if you haven't done so already, and share this video. We'd like to get the plugin into as many hands as possible because we think it's really useful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.